All right, fam. So look, I came across another crazy video. Once again, shout out to Lips of TikTok, bro. They be having the craziest clips. Okay, I don't even know how they be coming across these clips. Cause I be trying. I be trying to get to it first. You know what I'm saying? But they be having it like like this. You know what I'm saying? I don't know who behind the Lips of TikTok thing, but oh my gosh, bro, you're crazy. Anyways, without further ado, man, enough talking. Let's join into this crazy, crazy video. For people who like to pass yourselves off as superior in every way, you sure do get incredibly offended and booty hurt when black people say that they don't want to be around you. Black people not wanting to be around white folks has historical precedence. And the only thing it does is hurt your fragile ego. White people, on the other hand, not wanting to be around black people is racist because the only reason that white people don't want to be around black people is because of stereotypes that they invented to make black people seem more dangerous or high well hold on first of all first of all my guy my, my brother you already 41 seconds into the video i know the video only one minute but god dang 41 seconds and you already talking nonsense first of all let me am i racist because i don't want to be around my own group of people I'm gonna be honest, I feel more safer, and I'm pretty sure 90% of black people feel way more safer when we're around white people. Why? Because when you're around black people, bro, you don't know what can pop off in the next two seconds. You, you, be, like, literally, bro, I go to a party, I, bro, I promise you, I will go to a party, right? I don't party like that. Uh, I, well, I don't really party, but let's say I will go to a party. And it's a whole group of young black people around, pants sagging, all types of nonsense. You hear thug music. I'm going to shoot him in the face. Pop, pop. You hear all. I'm going to be scared. I'm going to be scared. I ain't going to lie. I'm going to instantly do the loop right out the door. Because, bro, I don't like to be around that type of energy. You know what I'm saying? I don't like to be around that type of energy. I don't blame white people who say they don't like being around black people. But how is that racist when if we say it, oh, we don't like being around white people. Obviously, that's not racist, but when they say it, that's racist. Bro, I'm just tired of the little hypocrisy thing y'all got going on, the, the hip-hop, hippity hop I'm just tired of it, bro. It's ridiculous. It's truly ridiculous, bro. Ask yourself this right now. I want you, as a black man, ask yourself, do you like being around black people 24-7? Do you like being around black people? Then you say white people, they came up, uh, they invented the stereotypes. No, I feel like the black people made these stereotypes onto themselves. Why? Because number one, uh, when you think of somebody killing somebody or when you think of somebody robbing somebody or you think of any of these crazy things, if the news say, well, there's um, a guy named, or no, they not, let's just say they say, oh, somebody robbed, whatever, whatever. I don't know. I don't even watch the news. So I don't know what they say. But let's say, oh, this uh, this person robbed this person. The, all, the first thing that's going to come to your mind is, oh, my gosh, it, it, he has to be black. He ha I'm going to be real. I'm going to be real, bro. It's the stereotypes that black people put onto themselves. You know what I'm saying? It's the way they act, the way that we act. I'm not going to say they because I'm not going to exclude myself outside of black. But I'm saying the way that we act is the reason why people look at us the way that they do. I can't blame a person that look at me or scared to hang around me. You know what I'm saying? When I got all type of tattoos and I'm tatted up and I got earrings in my... I can't blame them. I can't blame because when you come across a typical black person that got tattoos, maybe earrings, and they got slits in their eyebrows, the automatic thing you think is they're a game banger. But that's the type of stereotypes that black people put on to themselves. The, once we start having common sense and once we stop going outside and just doing crazy things like stealing cars and bro, it's crazy to me how every time I even like, I don't watch the news, but when I was watching the news, every time I watch it, it'll be a black person doing something so stupid, so stupid, so stupid. It's like, oh yeah, it's, it's a group of people stealing cars and then they instantly show the picture, black. I, I'm just saying, it's like, bro, why? Why? The, the moment we start doing stupid things, the moment they start looking at us like just regular people. Again, this, but I'm going to say this too. I feel like when, when one black person do something, you cannot put that on a whole group of black people. When one white person do something, how we always say all oh, white people are racist. We can't say that because just because one white person is racist doesn't mean that the whole group of the white community or whatever you want to call it, the whole race is racist. Like, no, that's not how it works. But I'm going to let you finish talking, my guy hypersexualized or simply because they don't like the color of our skin okay you already hold on i'm, I'm a uh, let me rest. black people seem more dangerous or hypersexualized or simply because they don't like the color of our skin you remember that scene in uh pocahontas these white men are dangerous or this song
Okay, I'm not gonna keep that in because I don't know if that's copyright or not. But uh, yeah, that's yeah. It's just you finished talking, my guy. Cool. Granted, this movie has some incredible inaccuracies to support its white savior narrative, but those two scenes are incredibly paced. Okay, Lord have mercy. I'm I'm gonna re I'm gonna rewatch this to to just in case if I miss something, but bro, I'm gonna tell you like this. You know what I'm saying? The fact that you even sat there, made a whole TikTok saying that, oh, if black people say they don't want to be around white people, that's not racist. That, 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 that's not racist. It's historically this and that. Bro, shut your, man, shut up. Shut, shut up. You know what I'm saying? Just shut up. But then when we, when, when white people say they don't like being around black people, which if they do say that, I don't blame them. But I know it's a lot of white people who say, man, I love being around black people. But then there's a lot of black people who say, man, I do not like I do not like being around black people. Bro, it's so many black people that say that, bro. It's so many. <laughs> I'm being real with you. It's so many black people who do not feel comfortable around a group of black people. Because we we have created, we have created a stereotype upon ourselves to make it seem like that we steal and do this and do that. Because you got young dummies out here who doing this dumb stuff and they're black. They're black. Every time you watch the news, it's a black person. It's a black person. But I want you to ask yourself, why? Why? Why do they only put that on the news? Ask yourself that. But I'm just saying, though, it's always just a black person. Black this and black that. Black people are always doing something stupid. Something stupid, bro. I want us to be better because I know we are better. But again, we can't won't change in, in, in America if we don't change ourselves. We need to stop. We need to stop allowing these black fathers to leave the household when they have a kid. Okay. We need to stop allowing black mothers to, to raise a kid, to raise a son or even a girl alone. You know, it, mothers was not called to be single mothers. If you laid down in that bed, you was ready then. So now when, the, when she said that she's pregnant, oh, now you're not ready, but you was ready then though. So again, we need to we need to grow our black men up to be men and not little boys, okay? Grow them up to be professional, you know, how to talk proper. And when I say talk proper, I'm not saying all black people have this like this negative this bad talk. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying is that it's a lot of young young black folks out here and I I am a witness cuz I used to talk the same way that these people used to talk. It's a lot of young black folks out here who who talk with this ghetto hood type of tone, especially in Chicago. This is the slang that we kind of use out here in Chicago. I don't use this slang, but this is how uh, some black people use the slang in Chicago. On phone, on grave, on on BD, on this, on DD, on this, on that. You know what I'm saying? They, in those games, if you didn't know, BD and G, that's a game. But they'll say on this, on that, on this, on that, on phone, on grave, on phone, on grave. You know what I'm saying? They, they say all these crazy things. Hey, shorties, check it out. Check it out, folks. Like that is how they talk in Chicago, but we need to be, we need to raise our kids or we need to raise our black young kids to grow, to talk proper, to talk with some respect. You know what I'm saying? It's already bad enough. They look at us the way they do. Well, let's change that. Let's start. Let's, let's start. Let's make them look at us differently. You know what I'm saying? They don't look at us for our skin color. Some of them don't. They look at us because of our actions. They look at us because of our actions. I'm going I'm to replay the video just in case. It, oh, oh my God. I'm going to replay the video just in case I miss something. Thank you. Whoever said God bless you. Thank you. Anyways. For people who like to pass yourselves off as superior in every way, you sure do get incredibly offended and booty hurt when black people say that they don't want to be around you. Black people not wanting to be around white folks has historical precedence. And the only thing it does is hurt your fragile ego. White people, on the other hand, not wanting to be around black people is racist because the only reason that white people don't want to be around black people is because of stereotypes that they invented to make they, black they, people they, seem more they, dangerous no, or hyper. Ha, ha, they didn't invent that, bro. That We, we did. We did. I, I just explained that We did. But anyways, sexualized or simply because they don't like the color of our skin. You remember that scene in uh, Pocahontas? Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Let me know in the comment section below. I, first of all, I want to ask you if you're watching this. I, I, I doubt you are, but Ebony Warrior Studios, if you're watching this, bro, I need to ask you some why, 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 
wouldn't black people like hanging around white people? Why? I'm, I just want to know why. That's all I want to I just want to know why. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to let y'all, uh, look, the, I'm going to let y'all give y'all opinions on this video. How do y'all feel about it? You know what I'm saying? Is it is it okay for any one of us to say that we don't want to hang around a certain person because of the color of their skin or because of their actions? I go off the actions. Forget the color of the skin. I'm not going to say I don't want to hang around white people as a group, but I will say oh, I don't like hanging around that white person. Not because of his color, not because he's white. No, it's because of his actions. I don't like hanging around black people, not because they're black. It's because of their actions. It's because of the things that I have seen black people do. It's because of everything that's out there on the media that shows this is how black people act. But it is some civilized black people out there like me, like Officer Tatum, like black conservative perspectives, like it's a, like Candace Owens. It's a lot of black people out there that's, you know, that's civilized, that's that's calm, that's relaxed. That ain't about that pop on in, pop, pop, pop. They ain't about all that. They they civilized, they, they calm, they, you know, they chill. But then you got some black people out here who just, uh, just wild. Just wild. Don't have no home training. Just wild. But y'all let me know what y'all think about it in the comment section below, man. I love you guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Uh, man, I'm doing this react to 100K because y'all were going to hit 100K. So I need y'all help. Subscribe. Share the video. Do y'all feel dizzy. You feel me? We got to hit 100K. We got to hit that big hundo K. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, man, I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Without further ado, it's me, your boy, the pan. Why did I just do this? That was so weird. Without further ado, it's me, your boy, the pan. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.